Good evening, sir. Though it may seem unfathomable to your genteel senses, I wrote it. The style Martin Oxford isn't at Oxford. Connoisseurs will know that Oxford shoes are characterized by lace eyelets sewn below the vamp, whereas these laces are... what the shit? So it's not an Oxford, strictly speaking, but it is a wingtip dress boot, and it looks classy under slacks. Lift that cuff and you'll find ankle armor and altitude, CE level 1 crush resistance for much of your lower leg. But one need not see that. What people will see is sufficiently low profile for high society. Sneaking toe armor beneath such a slim shoe requires very thin soles. Thun it, to be exact. It's made to resemble the ultra-fine leather soles of luxurious dress shoes, but is actually rubber, is actually waterproof, is actually strong enough to withstand foot pegs. Not much cushioning, mind you, not much grip. You'll want to scrub them in before hitting the office hallway at full lean angle. But that is the correct sound. A soft slap, like footfalls on the backs of poor people. <laughs> the waterproof membrane keeps my toes dry, but ventilation is as useless as its description. Antex lets releasing of the humidity as the water vapor of the body heat. Right. Fortunately, the Italians focus more on their forte, hand-processed leather. This full-grain patina is the mark of an individual master. It varies if he takes a four- or a five-hour lunch break, if he eats rotini or fusilli. No two boots are the same. You couldn't find a more buttery piece of cow in a pot of beef bourguignon, and you might not be able to find another dress riding boot, period. So 300 bucks kind of makes sense. The Revit Alpha Chino isn't a Chino. Chinos are 100% cotton twill, designed to be dressy yet breathable and sand-colored for officers' use in the Spanish-American War. While the Alpha is twill, its cotton is wound with 25% nylon to make Cordura denim. If Carhartts and dress pants got into each other's pants, this is their love child. Not super gruff, but still tough compared to regular chinos. The seat and knees are backed with even tougher fabric. On this, you could drag a 5 foot 9, 165 pound dude against the asphalt at 75 kilometers per hour, and he'll come out all right. A bit heated, but all right. A proper chino has subtle vertical pockets and subtle rear slits with no buttons. Well, so far, so good. But it also has hidden seams. That is impossible for a moto pant, which needs to pass abrasion tests and thus triple stitch. Chinos are flat down the front, never pleated, and tapered to a slim fit. We are on point there. But they're also meant to be cuffless. Meanwhile, Revit encourages us to fold ours while riding. So it's not a chino, but it's damn close, as close as you can get from a safety pant. My legs look a smidge thicker than they really are, but you would never guess I have knee armor. To avoid kitschy stretch panels, Revit purposely set the weave too loose and then shrunk the pants. And that way the entire garment has a smidge of give, which I find perfectly comfortable while riding. Revit has the caution of a scorned husband when it comes to sizing. This vain 32-inch waist has room for my 33-inch belly and then some. The Revit Westport riding shirt isn't a riding shirt. More like a jacket with hand warmers, a zipper, a Napoleon pocket, an inextricable light thermal liner. Plus Revit's usual cordura denim, double layered in the impact zones and studded with C-Smart armor. The thinnest CE rated stuff in the biz is also some of the largest by coverage area, which goes unnoticed because of how unnoticeable it is. So yeah, it's more like a jacket. Meaning its $400 price tag is a little less weird given that the pants are $300. And because this shirt is not a shirt, it means I can comfortably wear a shirt and tie underneath. In fact, it looks pure class under the quilting. It's also classy to keep your branding subtle, or otherwise removable. 
Revit's fit is typically tall and slim, which I never mind, but I do mind that they make no back protector as thin as their elbow and shoulder pads, so anything added to the empty spine pocket of this jacket will instantly show through. The West Port is not waterproof, but rather lightly waxed from the factory. Wax on, young grasshopper, and you can keep this thing dry enough on a short commute. The collection Style Martin is made of top quality materials, with a technical and practical design, which has been thought for those riders who feel the racing and emotional hobby. All the models are hardly tested on extreme condition from professional riders.